What a struggle. I worked my tail off for this fish. Good morning, friends. Cable Hall Outdoors, Austin and Beth. We're out here on the beautiful, what the map calls Little Tennessee River. Uh, it flows right into Teleco Lake. So we're after bluegill, you know, red ear sunfish, the green sunfish, bass. I'm up for it all. So I'm going to stay with light tackle. Beth, where are you going to go at? I'm after bluegill or anything else that bites. Green sunfish would be my main target today. But again, whatever hits, that's yeah. what we want. I'm going to be throwing my popper today, a rebel bait. So be proud of me. See if he actually sticks with light tackle all day. Light tackle, that's the goal. Light tackle, <laughs> six pound test, four pound test, six foot rods. Let's get after him, guys. Get out, and go fishing. <laughs> Horsefly. Yeah, all right. There he is. That'll be in the edit. Little bluegill. Yeah. Hey guys, so just want to let you know kind of how I'm using this little fly, and this is pretty conducive for all rebel topwater little creature baits like this. Kind of several ways you can do it. You can use it almost like a crankbait, just throwing it and winding it. Um, they'll dive maybe about two feet tops. Um, or you can do kind of like a jerk bait and do the jerk, jerk pause. Definitely top water. So you can just throw them, let them sit, twitch them along back to you. But the cool thing about this is when you throw them, you can pull them under a little bit and then stop them and they just do this like slow float up and I've caught a ton of fish. For whatever reason, they can't handle that. So it's a rebel horsefly. They've got a few different colors. They have a bumblebee color, a green color, um, but the horsefly one is the one that I get the most bites on. There's something right there. I don't know if he's a bluegill. Look at that. Dang. Took my Senko. He said, let me have that Senko. Wow. Rip that Senko completely. Completely off. Okay. Okay. There we go. What you got? Oh, did it get off? Nope. Nice. Big bluegill. Look at that sucker. Good <laughs> job, man. That might have been what took your Cinco. <laughs> He's a pretty good size. This guy. What was he doing? Oh, you got him. Kill on it back there. Bath. Nope, stripe. <laughs> a white bass? I mean, yeah, a uh, yellow bass. A little yellow bass. Got one. He's kind of like a, like a bass. It's a big, it's a big. Oh, it's a... What is it? Oh, it's yeah. A white bass. He's a good size. I wonder if he's a hybrid look. Okay, so how you can tell... From what I've looked at, that they're a hybrid, is the lines towards the bottom where their belly are, are broken. They're not those clean, long lines. He's probably a little hybrid boy. Good job, babe. Oh, got one. Come smack that, didn't he? Is a good one? What you got? One of them hybrids, huh? I think he's a white bass. Or he's a striper. But that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Good job, babe. Love you. <laughs> oh, got That's a crappie. No yep. bass. First one of the day, babe. Finally got a large mouth. My gosh. She treble hooked me a little. What you got there? First large mouth of the day. Seems like every time you hit a that, real giant. I hit that trolling motor, you get something. <laughs> Throw him back. <laughs> Sorry. 
Got here. No. Old turd bass again. Trash. Trash. They're glorious. They deserve your respect. Big old, big old fatty bluegill. Well, I have still caught zero fish. Tell me your secrets. Chihuahua. Man, look how pretty he is, though. Look at that blue on his chin. Man, he's pretty. All right, babe, let's get another one. I thought there should be a bluegill out there. Got one. What you got, babe? Bass. A big old bass. Do you need a net assistant? Potentially. How do you think, babe? Bass. Very nice. Got one. Get him, babe. <laughs> that little white bass. That bait just never stops working. Can't believe. It. Hey guys. So this is my midday. What's happened so far? Broadcast. So Beth. Uh, is doing well. I am not. I am super duper uh, mad pants right now. I haven't got a fish in the boat yet and it is two o'clock. Um, Beth has put several species of fish in the boat. What have you got so far, babe? I've got yellow bass, white bass, and or maybe hybrids. We're not sure what they were. And then bluegill and largemouth. It's all on this bait right here. That black chihuahua bait. Yeah, so Beth's caught about 10 fish. I've caught zero. I'm gonna try to get after them. I'm going down this steep rock wall here. See if I can catch a smallmouth or two. Got <laughs> two little bitty smallmouth. Put him back. Hopefully we're gonna slowly work our way up to a big smallmouth. Bye, friend. Get you that bass. Oh yeah. There you go, babe. Good sized bass. Mm -hmm. It felt so big on this little rod. But... It did it. I bet it did. There you go. Yeah. It came out of there after, didn't it? Yeah. He nailed it. Yeah. Okay. Got a little bit of tail. A little fanning. Must yeah. be. Looks like a female to me. Yeah, it does. Anyway, I'll we'll put her back. He feels decent. He's gonna shake his head. He's gonna shake one more time. There he comes. Try to keep him down. I barely got him. One hook. God. There you go, babe. <laughs> ah! Finally. What a struggle. I worked my tail off for this fish. And you're long enough to eat. That's the problem for you, friend. And. He said, huh? Like I'm talking about my fish. <laughs> the victory fish. He's a, look at that, it just came right out. Yep. Hey, buddy. I'll let you go back. You look, you look a little rough. But hey, there he is. Finally, a fish. And probably close to 12, 14 inches, too. I got him on that crawl dad. Crawdad colored square bill. Right there, shout out to Folks Custom Baits. Hey, look at Beth, a twofer. A double digit, a double diddle, a duo. Very nice. I'm gonna throw mine back, okay? About time we got something. 
chunky little guy. What you got, babe? I got another little large mouth. That dog on Chihuahua bait. Killing it. I can't keep up. I'm out here throwing a Cinco, sweating my butt off. Can't get it done, and she smacks it again with the Chihuahua. Man. Good job, babe. Got him off that tree, didn't you? Yeah. I was about away from the tree, though. They do not want a worm today. Like, they just don't want to touch it. They just want the chihuahua. Uh, they want minnows. They want moving baits. Hey, guys. Cable and Hall Outdoors. We were finishing up the day. It was a tough one. Well, for me. I got one fish in the boat. Um, just with one of those... Square bills uh, is actually Folks Custom Cranks, so shout out to old Folks Customs. But one fish for me, worked my butt off for it. I threw everything that I had. Tough day. But Beth is a different story. <laughs> I did pretty okay today. I think I got how many fish? Maybe 12, 15, <laughs> something like that. But so, yeah. they were all pretty small. I didn't get anything that was of much size couple decent little bass and a couple small mouths so and then the rest of it was mostly just a couple little bluegill, little large mouth, white bass, yellow bass. All on the same lure. All on the same lure. So guys down in the comments if you're one of those people who can fish with one lure the entire time I would like to know that because I can't do it. <laughs> I've got to switch out at least I don't know how many times I'm trying to figure them out, but Beth, she's slow and steady with the same bait. So let us know in the comments below if it's if, if, what type of fishing you like to do, if it's one lure all day, or if you switch up like myself, let us know. Anyways, Cable Hall Outdoors, Austin and Beth signing out. Get out and go fishing, guys.